everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today I'm putting together a video for the box card for the Witch's Cauldron. So this is called the Witch's Cauldron box card and um, it's pretty simple to do. There are some little pieces with it but they'll, they will work really good. So let's just jump in and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is I've got all these cut out in, and I've separated them to layers so I'm just going to do one layer at a time. And the first thing that we have is the actual cauldron. And you're going to want to put your little um, potion bubbles coming out of it. So the cauldron itself has two pieces. It has the cauldron and the rim. We're going to set that aside and we're going to start with our rim piece. And we're going to put this group of bubbles right kind of in the middle and just glue them down. so that it looks like they're coming out of the cauldron and spilling over so like that then you'll have a whole bunch of these um, extra little bubbles and you can kind of put them wherever you want there's no actual have to put them in a certain spot um, you can use the picture as a guide or you can just put them however you want okay And you could even pop dot some of those on there if you wanted to. I kept mine out of three different colors of green, but you can mix and match or however you want to do it. Um, you could do some purple ones, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, lots, lots and lots that you can do with this, with those little bubbles. Okay, so there is what my bubbles look like. I'm going to set that aside, and I'm also going to set my, my cauldron aside for right now. Then we're going to start with our first insert piece, and it has the number four or number one on here. There are four insert pieces for this card. This one has the stars, so I'm just going to... Add some glue to my stars and glue them right on there. These stars I think would be so cool cut out of glitter paper. Oh, I just, I think that would be so cool. Um, yeah. You can do them three different colors, two different colors, all the same color. Whatever you want to make it your box. Okay, so that's your first insert. Pretty simple. Second insert is the witch's hat and it is the witch's hat is cut out and then you also have another witch's hat and that's if you decided you didn't want to cut this out of black um, you could still have the black hat. Mine's out of black so I could actually skip this piece if I wanted to but I'm going to add it anyway. And the little hat. This does have some small pieces, like I said, but your Cricut machine, your Silhouette machine will cut them out without any problem. And then I just use my little skinny quilling bottle for my glue. If you had like a Xyron sticker maker, you could use that as well. Okay, so that's your second insert. Your third insert is pretty simple. It's just the spider web. There's nothing that needs to be glued on. However, you will want to make sure that you get all of those little pieces poked out. Looks like I have a couple that didn't completely poke out. They're on the bottom. So I'm just going to use my little to pokey tool. Okay, so there is section number three, insert number three. And then the last one is your insert number four. This is the last one. And it is the legs. I did not cut the legs out or have a file piece for the legs. So you'll want to cut this piece out of whatever color you want your legs to be. And then 
you're just going to glue your shoes and the belt buckle. The belt buckle for the shoes is just a little bit bigger than the belt buckle for the hat band. So you'll know which is which because you have two of the bigger ones and one of the smaller ones. I didn't get that quite right on there. And then you're just going to glue the little belt buckle on there. So quick and easy. There is your fourth insert piece. Okay, then you have your back insert piece and you've got just the green bubbles again. And then this back piece, there's actually two of them and they're mirrored. So you'll want to cut one, one, one direction and the second one the, a different direction. And you're going to just glue your bubbles right to that piece. Like so. Okay. And then you have your box piece. This has all the fold lines. Your second back piece, like I said, that I mirrored. And then I also did a little white rectangle that I can use to either stamp or handwrite a sentiment or whatever. So we're going to put that aside for a second. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do with this box is we're going to take all of the score lines and fold them towards the table or away from us. And there's four of them. So we have one by the tab. One on the side. Another one on the side. And then that last tab. So that is the box base. Okay, before we put the insert pieces on, now I want to come back here and get my cauldron and the bubbles. So the reason I did this second is because if I glued this whole thing on and got glue on the back of the cauldron, then it would stick to the sides. So I'm going to fold it first, and then I'm actually going to put tape on this front piece right in the middle. And this um, box piece is totally symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about the top or the bottom. It either way works. Okay, once we get the tape on, I'm going to go ahead and add my cauldron. And I want the legs to come down right along the edge of that box piece. And then I'm going to take my um, rim piece and you could just glue it down. I'm going to use some pop dots on it just to kind of pop it up, give it a little bit of dimension. So. Come on. Here, we're gonna, no. Now I'm just going to add that right onto there. You could also ink that up if you wanted to or whatever. So there is the front of your box card. And when you fold it, um, you haven't glued down to these edges yet. So it'll fold just nice and, and perfect. Okay, so now we're going to flip it over to the back. And we're going to get our first insert piece. This is number one and it has the stars. And we're going to fold the tabs up towards us. going to flip those over and I'm going to put glue or tape on the back side of those tabs. I'm going to take the right edge of, excuse me, the left edge of this front tab and I'm going to put it right next to the right edge of that fold line right there match up the tops. You don't want to put it on the fold line, you want to put it next to the fold line. Okay, we're going to fold it over. And fold that over, the edge over the top of it so that it gets that glue. And just fold it both directions. And there is your first insert piece. Now this box card is a little bit wider than most of the box cards that I do. But it's because there were so many inserts and so many fun things I wanted popping out of my cauldron. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our second 
insert piece and it is the one with the witch's hat and again I'm going to fold the tabs towards me flip it over to the back and put tape or glue on those tabs on the back side again I'm going to add this the same way that I did that first insert I'm going to take this left hand side and I want to put it with a little tiny bit of a gap but pretty close to where that first insert was. And line up those two edges right there. Fold it over and then do the same thing. Put this tab right behind that tab from the first insert. And I've got a glare on my window, so I'm having a hard time seeing that. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it flat. Make sure everything sticks nice and good in one direction. Fold it the other direction. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take number three. Same thing. This is our spider web. And fold those tabs up towards you. I'm getting dry glue on my fingers. Turn it over and put tape on those two tabs. Again, open it up, put this tab right behind the second insert piece with just a hair width of a gap, press it, fold it over, you want to line that up, press that. I fold back and forth a couple of times after every insert that I put so that I get a nice firm grip. Okay, then last we're going to do number four. Again, fold the tabs up towards you. Flip it over and put glue or tape on those tabs. Number four, the tabs are a little bit longer and that's because your legs are just a little bit heavier than the others and so I wanted it to have um, a, good, a good area to grip to so that it doesn't tip over. Okay, we're going to fold that, make sure it's right on there. Oops. Press both directions a couple of times. Fold it over or flip it over and there is your little legs in your box. So now what I want to do is I want to take my back piece that has the bubbles on it. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to open up the tab and I'm going to put tape on that first tab right along there. I'm going to take my insert piece and just lay it right next to the score line. Fold it, make sure that it folds down, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put tape on this um, tab right there and then fold it over. So let's fold it, get everything out of the way. Folding it, keep working it. My uh, little legs are popping off right there. Okay, now we're going to fold it back over to the back, and I'm going to take this back mirrored piece that I mirrored, and I'm going to glue it over the back so that I can cover up those tabs. to fix that file right through there so that it folds completely flat and I will do that your your piece will have it fixed okay and then last but not least if you want to add a little rectangle to the back so that you can have a place to stamp an image or a sentiment 
or write a note or whatever, you can do that. Just right there on the back. Okay, and there is your Witch's Cauldron box card. Folds flat, stick it in an envelope to mail it. <clears throat> And then when the recipient gets it, they can just pop it open and keep it on their desk or mantle, windowsill, whatever. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. And have a great day.